How's it going guys? Thanks for watching another video. So tonight I want to share with you why it's perfectly okay for you to use 91% rubbing alcohol to make your own hand sanitizer. Because right now, it's all sold out. 91%, you can't find 99% online. Hand sanitizer is sold out. But let me show you the proper mixtures as to why it's okay for you to use 91% rubbing alcohol. Currently, some of these items in this video are going to be sold out, but if you want to purchase any of the items in this video, make sure to check the links in the description below. All right, let's have a look at some of the recipes that we can use to make our own hand sanitizer. Most of the online recipes have a third as a measurement, like two thirds or one third. Let's have a look at the 91% rubbing alcohol mixture. So you got to take this two thirds, turn that into a decimal, which would be like 0.67 times 91% would give you a alcohol content of 60.6% which is just above the minimum that the CDC requires to work as an effective hand sanitizer. So if you change the thirds into quarters, you got to change the mixture just a little bit to this. So you figure three quarters will be 0.75 times 91% would give you 68%, quite a bit more effective. And for most of us, we're going to be able to find 91% in the stores. And if you're feeling a little bit fancy smancy and you jump on Amazon and you are able to get the 99%, two thirds again, 0.67 times 99% will get you 66% alcohol content. And then if you bump it up to the quarters, three quarter, 0.75 times 99% will get you 74%. So I'm gonna stick with this mixture right here, three quarters alcohol and a quarter aloe vera. Here is my 91% isopropyl alcohol and my aloe vera. And here is my measuring cup. Let me mix it up and show you what the consistency looks like. Oh, mean bro, I get my Simon bowl. All right, so that's gonna be my mixing bowl. There's a quarter. Let's start off with a smaller bottle here. So we're gonna take three of these. Got one, two, and that's the ending of that guy. A little bit more on this one here. Three. Okay. And then just a quarter of the green stuff in here. I think a rough amount would be good. So like, let's say right about there. Maybe kind of level that off. Jiggle it around. Ooh, yeah, maybe a little bit more. Uh, maybe a little bit more. All right, that should be good. And just whisk it up. No, this isn't going to look as fancy as your commercial brands because we don't have the fancy scientific equipment to keep it a little bit more jelly-like. The aloe vera is just in there to keep your hands from cracking. So that's the consistency. It's basically just like water. Mmm, want to drink some of that? But it doesn't matter how much of this you put in with the three quarters. It's still going to be a little bit soupy. Mmm, soup's on. Well, all right, guys, that is the rough math when using 91% rubbing alcohol and 99%. This is about how much you're going to get out of it, right around three ounces here and two ounces here. I did spill a bunch, so you get a little bit more, but that's about it. So remember, even if you can't find 91 or 99% rubbing alcohol, if you can get 70, just spray it on your hands, wait till it dries and moisturize your hand. And same thing with the other half. If you can't find aloe vera, but you have 91% and 99 Spray it on your hands, let it dry, and moisturize those hands. Guys, that's the ending of the video. Remember, if you want to purchase any of the items mentioned in this video, check the links in the description below. Hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, please give it the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to Chemo365, please do. And remember, I'll catch you guys later.